Right folks, I'm in Bridgewater. I'm just doing a little walk around today, reminiscing. It's something like um, the 3rd or 4th of August. Sorry, time goes so quick. But this is um, all childhood memories mainly here. Right in the background down there you've got St Mary's Church Spire. Sticks out for miles. There's lots of history to do with that. I've been up the tower, not right up the spire, but um, in the past, a few times. This is Cranley Gardens. This is where we used to hold our sports days when I was a kid. Um, this is where I learned how to throw a cricket ball really good. And I came first in the junior throwing competition. I had to throw a rounders ball, so you can imagine girls that throw a rounders ball, but I trained with a cricket ball. I was really good at throwing. These trees have known me since I was a baby. All these trees here, I was probably walked around here in the pram. And uh, lots and lots of times walked through this on the way to my school, I think the older school, secondary school, I used to cycle or walk through this park to the other end of town where I went to school. We never caught bus, we either walked or cycled. I often went this way, straight up over, rather than through the town. But as soon as I, well, when I had a bike, that was it, I cycled. For the first three and a half years of senior school. That used to be a, a college there. It's that's all a new building now. Those were, uh, original houses in the background there. Victorian looking. Here's a little lake that used to ice up in the winter and us kids used to go and try and skate on it without falling in. None of these houses were here of course that you see now when I was a child. I did um, some video and pictures Years ago now, it could be 12, 13 years ago. Conkers are on the trees forming. They were back there, not on this one so much, but uh, yeah, you can see the conkers. These trees, you could tell when it was autumn because you'd be pushing your feet through the leaves. Conker time, playing conkers was a very common thing in those days. It's blower than I thought, it's chillier than I thought, and I haven't bought a coat, but I don't really want, I don't think I need one. I've got a warm t-shirt on. So this is Cranny Gardens. I'm going to turn off now, so there's a few people about. Right then, this is a video too. I've got the wind behind me, it's a warm wind, it's quite blowy. At the moment, it'll be alright for video. So I'm following the River Parrot now, from Bridgewater, back there. And I'll be going up to what's called Somerset Bridge, the old, if that's if it's still, yeah, it's still there, I was on the train. Yeah, I, I go over the bridge, over the River Parrot, and I come back partly along the other side of the river, and then I'll join the canal to come back into Bridgewater. So today is a little bit of a reminiscing, and I'm uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this is that, um, Two of my kids have moved out of Bridgewater now and they live in other areas. Um, that means all my grandchildren, although they are sort of technically one lot in Bridgewater, they're more further towards North Petherton Way. So I don't quite, really quite know. If they, I suspect they might come under Bridgewater, but they're no longer in the heart of Bridgewater. So it's not like you can just get off the bus and walk to them now. They're on the outskirts. Um, I don't know, I've not been there or anything yet. Um, so basically, it's, um, I, I, I've, I've done videos of this walk quite a few times. I don't know if I've done it with a decent camera. And the plan was at one point to walk 
from here to Taunton and get the train back to Weston is 14 miles. Um, I don't know if I do it. I've cycled it before. I've got the train with, on, with my bike and I've cycled and then back and got the train back to Weston. I haven't done it for a long time. And I was fitter then when I did it. I, I'm, I have eased up a lot now. Um, and I don't mind doing it. I don't mind. So there'll be a series of videos. I'm not doing it all. This is a very warehouse place. All new houses over there. Well, they're, not, not, they're not that new, but... Um, they are new compared to when I was a kid, when this was all fields along here and the old brickworks. And I don't think I walked on the other side of the river till I was an adult, a, a, a mature adult. We used to come along here with me dad, or come back this way. We'd walk out to the Westerns Oiland from Bridgewater, along a very dangerous road it used to take us. So we could go to the halfway in for a drink. Then we'd walk around the lanes. Sometimes we'd come straight back here and we'd head for the Lime Kiln pub. Where you could have a final drink before we all went home. Because he used to visit us once a year. He'd come and have a holiday. He'd book into his usual guest house. And he used to go and see old people he knew. Go and visit pubs he knew. Not, not with us, not in the evenings. And then he would take us to the pictures. He'd buy us, always bought, bought us our school shoes. We were allowed a toy. He took us to um, Maynard's Cafe for coffee and biscuits. He always thought that was a treat for us. Um, I don't think he took us out for a meal or such. I think we mainly just had crisps and a bottle of lemonade or cherry aid with a straw at a pub. Um, my mum did do a pat lunch when he took us out to the corn talks, of course. Um, he, I think he did take us various places on buses and trains, even Cheddar. I can't remember it all because it was a long time ago. In the end, only I went with him. It was only me that would accompany him on these walks. That was up to the age of 13, I think. Um, my mum was ill when, when I was 14. She was in hospital a lot and she broke her hip. I didn't see my, I, as far as I know, I didn't see my dad that year. And that was the end of these sort of things with my dad here. Uh, when my mum died, I had the offer to go to live in the east end of London with him and his family. I don't think he really wanted to take me on, and I didn't really want to go. I didn't really want to go anywhere. I did eventually, at 16, I left completely Somerset for a long time. Something like nearly 20 years before I came back. I went exploring other territories and that. So there we go. That's just a small video. I'm gonna, there was a little school up here that Zara and I used to always refer to. And um, we got inside it once. There was lots of like antiques and that in there. It was quite interesting. Anyway, over and out for a minute. <laughs>